Welcome! My name is Colleen Tauke and I'm a sewing specialist here at Fonz & Porter. In this Quilt & Quickly tutorial, I'm going to show you some tips on putting together the quilt called Canal Street. If you'd like to purchase our pattern, please visit our website. We're going to be working with two and a half inch pre-cut strips and we have a, a great collection of pinks and purples and greens and then we're adding a light print background to it. Now, the diagrams and the directions for this pattern have you stay very organized um, and everything is labeled by size and alphabet. So you can see here, I've even started to um, alphabetize <laughs> my pieces. So using those office supply dots or a post-it note, some, are, some method that you like to use to stay organized. So you can not have to go, won't have to go back and remeasure pieces, keep them organized according to the alphabet letters and the diagrams in our pattern. You're going to be cutting pieces of background that are a wide, you can see there are wide strips, a couple, and then a couple medium sized strips there. You also will be cutting outer borders and there's an inner border of that light. Do notice that these are cut lengthwise. This is a um, way to have to, that we can eliminate some of the seaming that has to be done. You can get those long strips and an efficient way to cut through those fabrics. So follow your instructions closely for which pieces need to be cut lengthwise of the fabric. That is the one that is parallel to the, the selvage edge. Now, once you've got your ABC pieces all cut, um, you're going to be creating pieces that look basically like this for the center part of the quilt. You're gonna have a long strip, two short ones on the outside edge, and then a variety of ones also that have our just two long pieces joined with one seam. Now you can have fun, play with the fabrics, um, scramble up the values and the, and the different colors to create a fun design. Now I'm going to go back to the quilt because I want to talk about how to keep that center of the quilt square. Because when we're working with projects like this where the entire center of the quilt is one long column, you can eventually kind of get a skew to it and that will create not a rectangle, but a diamond shaped quilt. It's not what we're usually going after. So as you start to build the rows, um, as you join one row, say a, the piece row here to the, this wide one, what you want to do is pin the, and I'm not a huge pinner, but in this case I would be, pin these two together at the beginning and the end of the row. Also find the centers um, and match those up. It'll keep things aligned properly. You can also, if you can keep track of which direction you're going, you can sew this piece on one direction, come back in the next row, and sew from the other. That, just that little tug of the presser foot um, going through the sewing machine and the feed dogs, it'll, in reverse order, back and forth, it'll help also keep it square. But pinning at least that beginning, the end, and the middle of those seams will keep you fairly straight. Also remember to press as you go. Um, don't just try to add a bunch of rows and say, I'll go iron later. No, get up, go to the iron, set your seam and press open because as we know, that step is vital to keeping it also straight. So when you're done with the entire column down the center, then these outer border or inner borders are put together, are added on, and then you're going to be putting pieced borders. Again, that ABC order and those dots to keep those pieces, um, you know, which size you have. Those are in the diagram for the pieced outer borders, and then you're going to finish with that cream at the, at the very end. And you'll have created your version of Canal Street. This is a quilt that could easily be done in a weekend. It'd be a great group project or even a beginner's project, maybe a team mother-daughter or granddaughter and, and grandmother project. So you can convert it to a lot of different kinds of pre-cuts also. Thanks for joining me, and if you'd like to see more of our video tutorials, please visit our website.